for centuries, people have debated the question of an afterlife in which the spirits of the deceased roam here on earth with us. It is our passion to turn that question into an answer. My name is Ryan Zackerel. Are you sure you didn't touch me on the head? I thought you tapped me. No, I didn't. No, I was just looking at him and talking. <laughs> I am joined by my two best friends, Dave Gear. I've never been scared to the point where I fear my well-being. That's two times in one hour. And Steve Hummel. I've seen things, I've heard things in my lifetime that still makes my skin crawl, and this night is surely one of them. It is. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. And the noise was over there, dude. <laughs> We decided to return to Sistersville, West Virginia to investigate another historic gem. Knowing the past of Sistersville and the popularity of the city during the oil boom, it is understandable that these workers would need a place to stay. Our next location is that exact building. The Wells Inn was founded by Ephraim Wells in 1894. This building has stood proudly in the heart of Sistersville ever since. After multiple attempts to reopen the hotel, it has fallen into the hands of a new owner, Charles Winslow, who now has guests staying at the hotel. Well, we're in the lobby of the Wells Inn in lovely Sistersville, West Virginia. Uh, our hotel was built in 1894, uh, and it served the, uh, the oil barons and the folks that were here for the oil boom. The building, being as old as it is, has some major unexplained activity. In the bar area, a former employee claims to have been oppressed almost to the point of a spiritual attack by a male spirit. This area is certainly one of the creepiest in the hotel. They said that they've seen things and heard things. There used to be a jukebox here and that would go off by itself when, it was, uh, when nobody was around. The ghost's name is supposed to be Clarence. Now, we don't know a lot about Clarence, other than he likes to mess around with the, uh, the bartenders. Um, there's also supposed to be a little dog that runs around. This hotel holds one of the oddest ghost encounter claims the Paranormal Quest team has ever heard. And these are the Sistersville tourist attractions. That's right, honest to God, 1890s urinals. One of the odder ghost stories that I've heard is this. And I heard it from several people that when they were in here, the door would open and there'd be nobody there. I'm not sure why a ghost would want to haunt a bathroom. But who am I to judge? Okay, let's go. Uh, this is our second floor elevator lobby. Mm -hmm. Uh, and one of the stories is, is that um, the room right here, 204, one of the stories is uh, a lady uh, used to meet her lover here around the turn of the century. And one day he stopped showing up and she killed herself. And we have heard a lot of stories about all well, the lights going on and off in that room, odd thumps in the night, and just uh, some pretty interesting stuff. Steve has been to this hotel while vacationing for his honeymoon and surprisingly had a very relevant experience in which he smelled perfume. This took place in room 204. It uh, originally was a small farming community of about 300 people and you arrived here either by birth or by boat. In the 1890s that all changed. Uh, they discovered oil and uh, gas and this went from 300 people to around 20,000 within the next or within a few months. This dining room was a ballroom that served the elite of Sistersville. But Sistersville has kind of a, a fun past. It used to say, uh, they used to say that you could walk a mile on all the houseboats and barges that were tied up in the uh, on the banks of the river. And with the uh, 
was the, the oil where it came some rough people and rough crowds. And there's a lot of uh, really interesting stories about ghosts on the streets of Sistersville. Uh, there are a lot of uh, people that disappeared in the middle of the night. There's a lot of shady people that used to come here at the hotel and hang out. A lot of stories here. One of the more mysterious hauntings at the hotel is the presence of a little girl that seems to play throughout the halls. There is supposed to be a little girl that roams the hallways. Uh, kind of a... She likes to be kind of mis mischievous. Uh, she likes to jump rope in a couple of the rooms and she actually likes to play with a hoop. And we had some hunters here. And in the middle of the night, they checked out. Apparently, one of them opened the door after hearing some noise in the hallway. And looked out and saw this little girl in a period dress playing with a hoop. And she grinned at him. He slammed the door, got their stuff, and ran out. Um, recently, we've had a few things happen here. Um, and I'm not sure if they can be explained or not, or if they're just an example of somebody with overactive imagination. According to one of our cooks, a bunch of cans came flying off the shelves over there. And then we had a couple of people that are standing over where Melanie is there, and um, stuff started falling off of this wall here. Yeah, I was here uh, doing dishes one night with my co-employee, Rosanna, and we were about 15 feet or 20 feet from this location and one of the ladles come flying off the wall and hit the ground um, abruptly with absolutely nothing hmm. provoking it. Um, we didn't, I, did, I didn't see anything other than the ladle come flying off the wall and hit, but it definitely was abnormal to me. The only experience that I have is in the kitchen. Not okay. one time. It was all we had. Um, Buddy and I were, he was doing dishes and I went across the room, I was standing in front of the deep freezer, and my back was to the sink that's towards the wall. Okay. And that's where we hang the ladles and some of the pots and pans. And next thing I know, he's walking past me and the ladle hits the sterling, or not the sterling silver, the stainless steel sink. Right. We're now in the tea room, and you said you had an experience in here. Can you kind of explain a little bit about that? Yes, I was working the uh, the desk one night on the late night shift and uh, it was very quiet in the building and I heard a, somewhat I thought a ruffle or a footsteps in the dining room which is unusual because everyone has to pass through the front desk to be in the room and I, I looked to the left and there was a small female figure walking with a white cotton style what I would call an antique doll dress that just kind of passed through me in a, a rapid space just right past um, I think the Wells End is going to be a really interesting place to, to uh, investigate. There's a lot of different areas of the place that we can go, and um, with all the different stories of the little girl, and then there's the one with the dog, and then the man with the top hat. Uh, so far the Wells End seems very, very interesting. Um, there's a lot of interesting spots. For instance, the pub uh, is definitely one of them. The kitchen, and I'm also looking forward to hopefully checking out room 305. And I think that they said they had some interesting things. Uh, we're actually seen from actually the outside of the inn, looking up into the windows, like images of people and, for instance, a young girl. So. I think some of the locations that I'm looking forward to investigating most this evening would be the kitchen, for one, because they say stuff flies off the shelves, off the walls. So because of that, I'm interested in that location. The pub is very interesting. Just the feeling you get when you walk down the stairs, it's almost like a feeling of a menacing feeling, I guess you can say. One of those feelings you get in the pit of your stomach when you realize something isn't right, that there is something out of place in that area. We're getting ready to go into the kitchen where apparently they say things have fallen off of shelves, that ladles have been knocked off of their hooks on the wall. So we're gonna go back here and see if we can provoke something into doing that. Okay, just a note 
that that is our uh, IR camera right there. So. We're speaking to any spirit who's here in this kitchen. Apparently you knocked a ladle off the wall and things fall off the shelf. I don't think you have that power. I don't believe you have the power to knock something off the shelf. Hey, come on guys, you do something. It's better not used to somebody who's not afraid of you. Is that the case, or are you a cook back here, and you don't like what's been going on with your uh, your kitchen? Also, the noise you can hear in the background is the ice maker. Okay. Is that humming sound coming from there? Come from on. behind me. At least knock on something. Make a noise. Don't let us walk out of here disappointed. What was that? Yeah, that wasn't you. It wasn't me. Back there. I couldn't tell. Come on. Let you do it again, please. I just heard a knocking sound. I don't know if it came from uh How do you know that DVR cam was one above or not picking up anything so you can't show me that thing going again. Did you knock? Hey. I'm sorry. Sorry, Stephen Hummel. Come on. I dare you to knock something off the wall. Come on, guys. I think your cooking sucks. What do you think about that? It's got really cold back behind me. Really? For an instant, I felt a really cold blast of air on my back, and then it was gone. It's not coming off of here. I don't know where it came from. Now, the only thing in front of you is a table on the sink, so... It came from back behind me. It was like a cold blast of air, and I felt it hit my arm right there. There is oh, a window. What? I'm I'm open. Open. There is a window, but I don't know if it's... Is it open? It's closed. Drafty, yeah, or...? There's no draft on my throat, none. It's closed. It is. It's one of those new energy-efficient windows, so... Seal's gonna be good and tight on it. Come on guys, we heard some of the stories from the owner here that you knocked some stuff off shelves and moved some spoons. Can you let us know that you're here? What's up, buddy? I'm standing right here in front of the shelf. I want you to knock something off at me. Throw it at me. What? Hold on, Ryan, we heard something. Is there anybody down there? Something dead or like a... Like this. It's like, a, like on, the, on the wood part. Maybe it came Just like that, actually. Something like that, maybe? Maybe it came from that uh, bakery portion. I know it hurt. It's come down to this hallway. Maybe we should... Uh, Bring ourselves to their element. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Why aren't you making food yet? I told you I was hungry. Yeah, Your people. job is to cook. The people out there waiting for the meals, you better start hopping to get your job done. You're fired. What's the matter? Can't take the stress? Dude, it got creepy in that uh, bakery back there. Right about here, right here, like a. Over like a, a, a foot shuffle in the floor or something like metal tab. It was really close. It was kind of it was really soft, but like a high pitch on it. Hmm.
Where? When was it? Right about here. Right about here. And I'll show the camera. Oh, whoa. I'm sorry. What was that? That was on the wall. Come on. Come on. Throw something off. I'll show the camera. I'll show the camera. I'll show the camera. Oh, whoa. I'm sorry. What was that? That was on the wall. Come on. Come on. Throw something off. Do it again, come on. There it is. It's a different sound though. He's messing with us. Yeah. You messing with us, huh? Who's down there? I want my meal and I want it right now. Oh, sorry, I ran into a trash can. Come on, come on, guys. Well, I just felt I feel cold air. Where'd it come from? Like it was like right beside me. It feels like something. Are you working today? I feel cold air too. It's getting cooler. Right here by my left hand. Yeah. Maybe that maybe that's a normal thing in here though. These are energy efficient windows. Yeah, they are. I'm not gonna sorry. It's okay. So these are the uh supposed spoons and stuff you've knocked off the wall. I don't believe it until I see it for myself. Can you do that for me? Please. I think it's like a little burst of light. Like a little blinking light? Like a... Yeah, I've seen that yeah, like right three here. times since I've been in here. I just thought it was my eyes, though. Come on now. We're not here to harm you. Hopefully that you don't intend to harm us. Hope you said negative, we were just some good fun. Be sure to communicate with you. Can you please give us a sign of your presence? Make a knocking sound. Move something, throw something. That way we will know that you're here with us. If there's an order ready, can you give us a tap on the counter? Hey, is there anyone here who wants to talk to us? Make a noise for us, please. Sorry, I got a cold chill. Anyway. We're here for some ale. Can we have one, please? He got a bad chill. He's in the middle of a sentence. Are you in the He's like that, literally. Is that involuntary? That was involuntary. Dude, I really do. Like, right in front of where Ryan's at, that's what gets me the most. Yeah. Hey, is there a bartender back here? Right in front of him, staring right back in the face. I know. I just have a bad mental impression. It's all like, man, this guy's like, you get the mental image of like a almost a bald guy. Yeah, like he's like staring right back up in defiance. I don't know, just that came across my head. Hey, Baldy, where's your hair? I don't know if it was dust, but I just saw something fly across the room and it went like right through Steve. Is that... What? When reviewing video evidence, I found two strange lights 
that can be no bigger than a pinpoint, almost from a laser pointer, sliding across the ceiling above our heads in the center of the wooden derrick. None of us had this sort of light, so this light anomaly is unexplainable. Whoever's in that room, you need to come out here now. You need to cut the crap. This is a private bar. You're not allowed down here without permission. How about a dry martini? What was that? It was down here. It's over there. What was that? What was what? I swear I just heard like a chair move. Where? I don't know, that sounded like it was on brick though, but there's... Those chairs down there are on carpet, aren't they? That's the elevator. Maybe something to hear there's no air there. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go over here and sit in one of these chairs. Good idea. I wonder if I look at my toes. I know. It's got me kind of creeped out. Probably wouldn't do something hurt us with them. No. But it feels like something else down here would. Yeah. Do we want to go in here? Would. But will you? We've been in places far dangerous. Than here. I've been to Waverly Hills. It's a mental institution. We've messed with the freaks up at the penitentiary. Murderers, rapists. What are you? Some pit, some poor drunk. Whoa. Had it bad? Dude, that was wild. It wasn't. Do you want to watch it? Yes. Okay, so me and Steve and Ryan, we moved down to the pub area. And uh, so far, we had a couple of pretty cool things happen, which... What am I doing? This is not a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> That was. Ch that sounded like a freaking dog leash. A dog chain. Here, Pop. I heard something. That's me moving around. Did he have keys? He changed his drink. Yeah, but that's not what I heard. I heard chains like a chain. Yeah. But he has change, right? Yeah. And not chains. Because when he... Well, it, it sounded like it, but when I went up, when he came down, because I scared him. Yeah, he, you could hear him coming down with the change in his hand like this. It, like, it sounded like oh. it sounded like what I heard. Oh, crap. Can you come out for us? Can you make a noise? Is that your chair? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Turn around and be on six. Hey, there's a rag over there on the bar. Could you uh, clean off the bar top? I don't think there's anybody down here. I think if you are down here, you're spineless. 
you won't do anything, and that we're pretty much wasting our time down here. Does that sound fair? I dare you to prove me wrong. Background. Come on, I dare you. The Wells Inn has proven to be a very active location to investigate. Though we had to work past the living guests of the hotel, we believe we did make contact with those who haunt the hotel in the kitchen. Hold on around me here, it's okay. And the pub, also known as the Wooden Derrick. I don't know if it was dust, but I just saw something fly across the room and it went like right through Steve. What? Sistersville has not disappointed us, and now we can agree with the locals. If you want ghosts, you can find them in Sistersville, West Virginia. <laughs>